welcome to Plants to the Rescue. It's another grocery haul week. And if you've watched any of the other ones, you might notice I look a little bit different. So like I said, weeks ago when we started this, Imperfectly Perfect, and my husband is to blame for this. He made an epic fail in regards to my hair, but it's okay, we're going with it. He was trying to save me trying to get me to switch from regular hair dye to henna and the shade that he told me to get dyed my hair black. So bear with me, I'm trying to get the black out but if anyone knows anything about henna, it's not working. So I'm trying to embrace the goth rocker chick from days gone by in my youth. I grew up in the 80s and I loved metal. So I don't know, we're gonna have to go with this now for a while. So please be kind and bear with me. But today, another grocery haul, another week that we kept it under $100. And Sean, did we have enough food last week that lasted the entire week? Absolutely. We actually still have a lot of it. So a lot of the frozen veg that we showed you from last week, we still have. A lot of the um, parboiled rice that we had bought, we still have. We still have the mung beans and we're still eating the chickpeas. So there's still a lot of stuff already that we still have left over from last week and weeks gone by. So again, this is not representative of all the food in the house, but it is representative of one week's worth of groceries for us. So what did we get this week? Well, let's peruse the table. Um, Sean, go ahead and give them a quick little flash down of the table. You wanna just move the camera around and show them. All right, so we got a big bag of organic carrots. We're over here, Sean. A big bag of organic carrots. And can you see, Sean, how many pounds that is? Five. All right, so we got five pounds of organic carrots. My son and I will eat so, we will eat primarily all of the organic carrots. Sean might have a little bit, but pretty much it's gonna be Sean, I mean, Brian and I who, by the way, is doing great on his whole food plant-based diet, and he's freaking us out, eating sweet potatoes, cauliflower, kale, spinach, and this is the young man that wouldn't touch lettuce. I have to um, hide them and everything. Sean, if you got something to say, go ahead and chime in, because I don't read lips well. He's in the back of the camera trying to get me to say things to you, but I have no idea what he's talking about. I was saying that we were very impressed that he was eating beans, because Brian, for his whole entire life, has said that he'd never touch a bean. His vegan diet literally consisted of french fries, potato chips, popcorn, and processed vegan meat. That was what, and processed vegan cheese. That's what Brian lived on. If I'm sweating like crazy on this video, please forgive me. If we have the AC cranking, you won't hear me at all. Also, forgive me for the shaking camera. Yeah. We're doing the best we can with what we've got. Bear with us. Hopefully, the content makes up for the poor quality. All right. So, for veggies, we've got the organic carrots. We've got two organic cucumbers, slicing cukes. We got this week some baby organic broccolini. I'm excited about that. And we got some organic green onions today. We also got some organically, show them the little sticker, organically grown corn. For those of you that are gonna freak out that we've got GMO corn in our house, we've got organically grown local corn. We also have organic red baby creamer potatoes that are delicious popped in the air fryer. Those come out so good. So that is our fresh veg. And then for frozen veg this week, we got organic root vegetables, um, regular Brussels sprouts, because I, I've been snacking on Brussels sprouts every single day. Yesterday, I ate two pounds of Brussels sprouts just by myself, snacking on them, and I loved every bit of it. All right, so we've got, and I still have more, so I can still go to town on Brussels all week long. I've got organic stir fry blend right here. It's got a little bit of everything in there. Um, organic edamame. Um, my husband could go through some serious edamame. So because it is a little bit higher in fat and a little bit higher in calories, I try to get them in the pods because it just takes a little bit longer to eat and that works out for us. Those are delicious. Wouldn't you say, Sean? I would. And I got some organic three pepper blend and some chopped spinach that'll go in a lot of my son's smoothies. So that's what we got 
for vegetables. And like I said, we still have a ton of frozen vegetables. It's a little bit more of a frozen week this week because we went to Whole Foods and honestly, the prices are a little bit pricier at Whole Foods. So we have to go with a lot of the frozen veg we already have and the frozen veg we got here. But for our fresh stuff, that five pound bag of organic carrots is gonna take us a long way. Now, what did I get for fruit? This looks a little bit sad to me too this week, a little bit, but I have to be honest with you. We did pay attention, especially this week, of what we go back to the store for. And it is primarily milk, non-dairy milk, and bananas. We make a banana run every single stinking week. And so this is not also representative of the entire amount of fruit that we have. But bananas are like dirt cheap and we end up paying like six or seven dollars for literally 10 to 12 bunches. So we have our bananas where we shop 49 cents a pound. So we go kind of crazy when we go there. And that's a price chopper in Massachusetts. I'll give you that much. All right, so we did get some bananas and we got two beautiful organic um, cantaloupe that I wish you could smell. These are ready to go. They smell fantastic, huh, Sean? They really do. So cantaloupe is the, the prize fruit of the week. All right, and now what else did we get? Okay, so for our seeds this week, we got organic pumpkin seeds um, and we got hemp seeds, organic hemp seeds. So I got the hemp. Um, so it's either gonna be hemp seeds, flax seeds, or chia seeds. Every single week is gonna be one of those. They kind of rotate, that's for our, our omegas. And then I always try to get either a nut, last week was walnuts, and this week is pumpkin seeds. These are mainly for my son to get some extra fat for his brain health. So we will probably have a little bit of it, but um, we will share the hemp seeds. All right, for our grains this week, it's kind of low on the grains because we still have a ton of rice in the house. We've got brown rice left over in the house. We've got quinoa left over in the house. We've got parboiled rice left over in the house. So all I got, and bulgur, we have bulgur left over in the house, which Sean loves bulgur. Um, this week we got organic Italian barley, because mm, I want lentil barley soup really bad, so that's 100% happening this week. And we got organic Italian farro. Very excited about that. Sean really likes farro. It's very, very nutty. It's delicious, yummy stuff. All right. The protein portion of our groceries this week, um, I got three firm tofus, and I'm gonna give a shout out to Well Your World, Dylan and Reeves. I made the smoky cheese ball, oh my word, so you definitely, you use uh, firm tofu and chickpeas is the base of it, and there's no funky ingredients, so there's no like, you don't have to get agar agar or arrowroot or anything like that. It is literally just firm tofu, chickpeas, and some spices and stuff, and mind-blowing. Did you enjoy that, Sean? It was delicious. So we've had it like every which way. We had a huge um, platter of fresh vegetables and we also had it with, how else did we have it? We had quesadillas with it. We had it on toast. That was delicious. We had it on toast. We've kind of had it on everything and it's so good and I can't believe the volume. I ended up making two cheese balls out of the one recipe because if I made the one cheese ball, Sean and I would have devoured the whole thing in one night. So I made two smaller cheese balls, which were still pretty big size and it lasted us for days and we ate it for days, totally enjoying it. Gonna do that again this week. I also bought some silken tofu because I just want, with the cucumbers, I'm gonna make some tzatziki sauce and I'm excited about that because I absolutely love that. All right, so for uh, Brian, I made, what did I make? This I made, um, I made banana bread last week for Brian to take to college cookies. and this week I made chocolate chip cookies. And next week, I'm probably gonna make some kind of energy orb or something like that for him, I'm not sure what but I got the peanut butter for him that's just peanuts and salt, and uh, that's the 365 brand. And I got some vegan dark chocolate chunks this time. And for his sweetener this week, instead of maple syrup, I got organic brown coconut sugar. So this stuff right here is only for, oops, sorry. This is, oh my goodness gracious, I can't hold on to anything. I got the dropsies. This stuff right here is only for our son. 
It's still whole food plant-based, but um, it is not conducive to weight loss. So we will stay out of that. And I'm proud of Sean and I because we 100% stayed out of Brian's banana bread and his chocolate chip cookies. I kind of just make a Brian zone and I pretend it's not there. Kind of like what I do when I go into the grocery store and I see the meat section. I just zone, except for, was it last week, Sean, or two weeks ago? Last week. We were in a local grocery store and we were, it was bad. I, I never ever see that section. And I don't know, for whatever reason, I glanced over that way and it was <laughs> so close. It was so, it was disgusting. There was a bag of some kind of animal in it. And it was a big bag and the whole bottom was just blood. It looked like a homicide scene. It was bad. It was bad. Terrible. And I was like, oh, thank you for the reminder of why I do not eat that. I don't want that. That is not my food. But I do that with my son's food too. And even though now he, I mean, I really had to do it when he was just vegan junk food. But now that he is whole food plant-based, it's the same method. This is Brian's. The rest of this is all of ours. And I'm able to do that with no problem. I think you are too, Sean. Yeah. All right. Sean's melting. So I'm going to no. Make this a little bit quicker. You're good. Take um, your time. For our non-dairy milk this week, I'm excited. They're small, but I know this is a really creamy, delicious um, soy milk. And you know how much I love soy milk. So when it's the soy milk week, I'm really excited. It, it's been that for, I think, two weeks now. I've been looking out. What is honestly in here? Um, or uh, Purified water and organic soybeans. Yep. It's lovely and wonderful. And I would literally... If I wasn't watching how much calories I take in, not that I'm actually watching calories, but if I wasn't being mindful, I would drink a whole one of these tonight just by myself. I love soy milk, but I gotta make that last and I will literally only use that in my hot beverages. All right, always one naughty item from, oh wait, no. Another thing that I consider protein, but it's also our fermented food slash sauce slash condiment, whatever, they're organic white miso. And I just got to tell you, I think that's the best miso out there in the world. There's probably better, but I haven't found it. We buy a lot of our miso at the local um, Asian grocery stores just because you can get a really big package for kind of on the cheap. Um, even their organic miso isn't like outrageous, but it just doesn't have the same flavor as this 365 white miso. I love it. So that's yummy, 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 yummy. All right, and it helps us to reduce our salt shaker habit. So we'll use a lot of miso this week. All right, so the one naughty item, because I always do the one naughty item, which is never really truly naughty, but I did score a loaf of Ezekiel bread for under $6. Yes, it was on sale for $5.49 if you have Prime, and I was super excited because I flip and love this. And how will I have it? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm gonna make some more of that delicious while your world smoky cheese and I'm gonna slather it on as toast and I'm also gonna use uh, just PD powder. Although Broccoli Mom turned me on. Yeah, you know, Broccoli Mom. She turned me on to, I don't know what the hell she calls it. She calls it her peanut butter. I don't know what she's calling it, her chickpea peanut butter. But um, it's just, I put chickpea, I did chick, it's pretty much chickpea hummus. It was like just chickpeas and PB powder. Oh my word. I make those oatmeal like cookie things I told you about for my breakfast every single morning. I just dunk them into the chocolate, I mean the, the peanut butter mousse thing. Oh my God. So it's literally oats and banana in my cookie thing and flaxseed. And then the chocolate, the peanut, sorry I keep saying chocolate. I think I want chocolate mousse. The peanut butter chickpea mousse is just peanut butter and chickpeas and that's it. But my, I, I felt like I died and went to heaven this week. It was grand. All right. So I do have on the table a small, it cost me less than $5 from the dollar store purchase because I just felt like our protein game was a little weak this week. So I got two things of black beans, a pound each, and a pound of white northern beans, and a pound of lentils. So four pounds of beans for under $5 is pretty darn awesome. So 
Whole Foods alone costs us $98.38. So we are again under $100 for what will definitely last a full week other than one or two trips for more bananas. Hopefully just one. And I know I will need at least one unsweetened almond milk halfway through the week. So pretty good. And an extra couple dollars for these beans. So we did it once again. I think that next week, I'm not gonna tell you because I don't know. I was thinking about doing an Asian market, but I might do my local, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna check Price Chopper and I'm gonna check Big Y, their flyers. And if they're not great, if they're meh, I'm probably gonna do an Asian store. But hang on, because obviously all three of those are coming up. I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you're interested, and my husband mentioned a uh, what we eat in a day video, I don't feel like you're gonna be interested yet because we're not at goal. But if you are interested in a what we eat in a day video, mention it in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Um, we're gonna keep doing these hauls until we get people watching them. We've got a couple people, but I need more. So um, we're just gonna keep doing this. And if you do want the what we eat in a day or you want more of the vlog style videos, or if you want cooking videos, <laughs> we will do it. Just let us know what you want and we will do it for you. All right, peace, have a great day.